Hey guys, Costa here, hope you're well. Today we're gonna to go through a little video on how to install the Ajax app, how to register, and then just a quick overview of actually what you can find when you're in the app. So first of all, the Ajax app is downloaded and installed via the Apple iPhone store, the App Store, or from an Android Play Store. So depending on which device or ecosystem you've got, you'll, you'll go to one of those to get it installed. So in my case, I've got an iPhone. Um, I've already installed the app, I already have a system. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you would do is you'd go on, find your, your App Store or Play Store. Um, in the search bar, if you search for Ajax, so A-J-A-X, and you hit search, uh, you will notice that you're gonna come up with a couple of, of apps. You've actually got uh, an Ajax Security Systems app, which is with a white background. And there's another one, if you scroll a little bit down, which is the Ajax Pro Tool. Now that's got a black background. Now that one's really designed for more of your installer, not for the end user, for you and me. Uh, so don't install the, the, the Pro version, you don't need that. You'll install the Ajax Security version with the white background. Now, once you've installed that, um, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna register. Now you do need a mobile phone number as well as an email address, so you need both for the sake of registering because Ajax as part of the process will send you a code to both of those and then you'll need to put them back in to authenticate and then get in. Now you may have a system that's been sent to you from your installer at this point because um, they would have done the install and then sent it to you via an email invitation to then hand over that system to you. If you haven't got a system in there yet, uh, it's maybe because your installer hasn't finished the install and then sent you or handed over that system to yourself. But for the sake of this video, I've got my system and now I'm in. So when you log into the app, the first thing you'll see at the bottom, uh, in my case, I've got an extra tab, but we're not gonna focus on the middle one. You should have four tabs at the bottom of the actual app. You'll have devices. And if you click on devices, which I have, uh, you'll see every device that has been installed and enrolled onto your system. So for example, I've got my top device is my actual Ajax hub, which is the brains of the operation. If I click on that, it gives me general information about the, the connection type, if it has a cellular uh, SIM card put into it, if it's connected to ethernet, things like if the lid is closed and what sort of you know, battery life I've got, sort of battery charge. If I come out of that and go back to the general list within the devices, Again, I've got quite a few things on the system. Uh, I've got you know, front door, mini sirens, I've got the fire protect in my office, and so forth, and keypads. If we then look at the bottom of the screen again and click on the second little notification or tab, that brings up what we call the rooms, or the zones in your case. So these zones, I've got um, three zones effectively. I've got my office, I've got my garage, and I've got my main house. And those are the three zones that I've set up. And within, in, within those zones, I've got different types of uh, devices. Um, I've then got a video wall. I won't click on that because you may not have um, you know, a, a, an Ajax official CCTV camera set up, even though you can use third party cameras with this, but I won't click on that for now. Um, if I go past that and click on the next little tab, which is notifications, uh, this basically is the area where it'll show you everything. Now at the top of that screen, you've got a little bar that you can actually scroll left and right with. And that gives you security, video, malfunctions, arming modes, et cetera, et cetera. And this is just where you would see anything and everything that happens in your system. If somebody's armed it, who's armed it, what time it was armed, um, notification. So it's a very feature rich area of the app where you can literally monitor everything. Um, if I then go on to the last one, which is the main one, and this is the, the main tab that most people will be on majority of the time, because that is called control. And if you click on that control, you'll be then given a, an interface where you can arm, disarm, go into night mode, and you can even have a panic feature as well if you need to go into panic mode. On my particular screen, I've got three different zones. Those are the actual rooms that I had set up in the previous tab and I can manually turn on and deactivate those. So for example, everything is armed at the moment, or disarmed should I say, apologies. If I want to arm the office, because no one's at home and no one should be in the office anyway, I'm going to arm that office. So the office has now been armed, but the main house and the garage are still unarmed because I do have people at home at the moment. So that today was just a brief overview of the Ajax app. So just to cover off, one, you need to download and install the app from either the Play Store, the Google Play Store, or from the Apple App Store. Once you've downloaded the app with a back, white background, you then need to register an account using both an email address and a valid mobile number. Once you've then got past that stage and you're actually into your system, again, you may already have a system allocated to you and handed over from the installer, or you may be waiting for them to hand that over to you. 
But then once you've got that, you can then have access to the tabs at the bottom and you can have a look in there. Very straightforward. And that was just a basic introduction today on how to use an Ajax app. Thank you very much.